for functions of multiple constants, a series of derivations should be performed. Check out the process of simplifying differential equations here in Engineering Math 5. The given function is ax squared plus bx is equal to c, and we are to determine the differential equation by elimination of the constants. In here, a, b, and c are the constants showing that we would need to derive three times. So let's start with the first derivative, which will then be taken as y prime is equal to a times 2x times 1 plus b. C would already cancel out as the derivative of a constant is zero. And again, work with the second derivative, which is then taken as y double prime, this time given as just 2a. And lastly, solve the third derivative, which is then the derivative of a constant, which is zero. From the last derivative, it is noted that there aren't any more constants which means that the third derivative is the differential equation. For the second example, given y is equal to c1 times e raised to negative x plus c2 times e raised to 2x, eliminate the arbitrary constants to determine the differential equation. There are c1 and c2, which means that we should derive the function twice. From the original equation, we make the first derivation having the constant c1 and e raised to negative x, then take further derivative of x being negative 1. Then add constant c2 times e raised to 2x and its derivative 2. Then this is simplified as y prime is equal to negative c1 times e raised to negative x plus c2 times 2 times e raised to 2x. Take the second derivative which follows the same rule as used with the first and we get y double prime is equal to c1 times e raised to negative x plus 4c2 times e raised to 2x. Upon reaching the second order derivative, we still find the arbitrary constants present. So we should resort to the method of elimination, whereby we denote the original equation as equation 1 and each simplified derived function as equations 2 and 3. If we add equation 1 and equation 2, the first terms will cancel out, which would be leaving the equation y plus y prime is equal to 3c2 times e raised to 2x and let us denote this as equation 4. Then combine equation 2 with equation 3. And similarly, the term with c1 will also cancel out, giving y prime plus y double prime is equal to 6 times c2 times e raised to 2x, which we will denote as equation 5. At this point, let us subtract equation 5 from equation 4. But at first, note that we need to multiply the fourth equation by 2. And by doing so, we can proceed with the subtraction. Note that 6c2 times e raised to 2x will be cancelled. This would result to 2y plus 2y prime minus y prime minus y double prime is equal to 0. And if we simplify, we get 2y plus y prime minus y double prime is equal to 0. The third example is slightly more complicated than the previous one. With the appearance of c1 and c2, there would be two derivations involved. So from the original equation, we should take y prime, but the second term requires the product rule. So y prime would then have three terms, but by simplifying, we get y prime 
is equal to 2 times c1 times x plus c2 times x times e raised to x plus c2 times e raised to x. And derive it further for the second time with another term employing product rule. And we would get y double prime is equal to 2 times c1 plus c2 times x e x plus 2 times c2 times e raised to x. And again, since there are still constants at this stage, we use the method of elimination after denoting equations 1 to 3 among the functions. Now let's add equations 1 and 2. For the first term to be somehow equal to that from equation 2, we multiply the whole function by 2. The second equation would also need to be multiplied by x. This is so we can cancel out the term with c1. So by subtracting the two modified equations, we would get 2y minus xy prime is equal to c2 times x times e raised to x minus c2 times x squared times e raised to x. And since there is similarity of coefficients in the right portion, we can extract c2 times x times e raised to x to simplify the equation. If this is isolated, then we would have c2 times x times e raised to x is equal to 2y minus xy prime all over 1 minus x. And this will be equation number 4. Determine another new equation by subtracting equation 1 and 3. Just the same, we wanted to eliminate c1. So we do this by multiplying the first equation by 2 and the third equation by x squared. And when we finally subtract these two equations, we would arrive at a rather long equation. That would be 2y minus x squared y double prime is equal to 2 times c2x e raised to x minus c2 times x cubed times e raised to x minus 2 times c2 times x squared times e raised to x. We can note that the same coefficient present in the right end again, so by extracting c2 times x times e raised to x, we would come up with the fifth equation, which would be c2 times x times e raised to x is equal to 2y minus x squared y double prime all over 2 minus x squared minus 2x. We have successfully determined c2x times e raised to x from both the modified equations, so we can now equate the results. And by cross multiplying the terms, we finally have the differential equation for the solution. It is 2y minus xy prime times the quantity 2 minus x squared minus 2x, which would be equal to 1 minus x times the quantity of 2y minus x squared y double prime. Mm -hmm.